We began our second test at 7 a.m., assisted with a generator and floodlights to facilitate our filming. We quickly realized that the device was not rotating and I had inadvertently gotten the handle of our brake caught up in the braking device. Here I am shown breaking it loose. What a frustrating moment. You will notice that our drive shaft is bouncing a lot. Obviously, it is not rigid enough for this current. 170, 167, 168, 170, 164, 155, 150. What is it reading, please? For the purposes of this test, we will use 7 feet per second for our current velocity. Uh, let me talk. 59, 70, 87. Seventy-three, eighty-eight, ninety, ninety-eight, a hundred and five, hundred and six, hundred and fifteen, a hundred eleven. We're still at one thirty-two, uh, hundred and five, hundred nineteen, one thirty-five, one seventeen, one thirty-two, uh, one thirty. At a hundred, okay. One thirty three, one thirty six, one thirty two at one thirteen, one thirty five at one twelve. Okay, so I'm going to use one thirty at one twelve. Okay, you can turn it. Two point seven seven kilowatts. Two, one, one thirty-nine. That's fantastic. One thirty-seven. One twenty-eight four. Yeah, two point eight four kilowatts. Two point eight two kilowatts. For the purpose of this test, we will use 2.8 horsepower, not kilowatts, as I was confused in my calculations. As you can see, the shadow of the screw is shown on this shot. It has approximately three and a half feet of water cover over the screw.